Uh, what about a dude swinging good wood here? Give me your favorite hitter for DFS. Yeah, let's stick with the Dodgers. Let's go Mookie Betts. It's quite expensive at 5,800. Uh, but when a guy goes 11 straight games without a strikeout, uh, which he did before whiffing once yesterday, uh, hard not to get excited about that. Got a strikeout rate under 15% this year. It's his best as a Dodger. And that's only a little bit higher than his 12.2% walk rate. So he's showing great plate discipline this season. Hitting 263 is isn't great, although his expected batting average is 18 points higher. So maybe that is due to come up. Five homers and three steals puts him on pace for 31 and 19 over a full season. So he's looking like vintage Mookie Betts again. He'll get the platoon advantage against Jose Quintana, who's got a 338 ERA, although that beats pretty much all of his ERA estimators by a meaningful amount. Really nothing too exciting there. Just a 20% strikeout rate, 9% walk rate. He looks like a bland back-end starter. So a guy like Betts, when he's seeing the ball like he is right now, uh, I'm quite excited to use him against Quintana. All right, fifth highest priced hitter on this uh, main slate. Fryer, who do you like? Yeah, Mookie is a guy that was definitely on my radar, and I know Luis Robert is one as well, but I think that I got to still go with my guy Eric Hosmer at 4.5K going up against the Cubs. I know he's slowed down a little bit recently after that. Well, he's been hot for a while, so it makes sense that he's slowed down a little bit, but now he's got a favorable matchup against Kyle Hendricks, even though he hasn't really hit Kyle Hendricks well throughout the course of his career. Hendricks is getting hit by everybody and their mother right now. Uh, 10 earned runs over his last 10 innings, 14 hits, Five home runs all during that stretch. Absolutely absurd. He gives up quite a bit of hard contact to left-handed hitters, and Hosmer has a 4-8 Woba and a 190 ISO against right-handed pitching. So I feel very comfortable backing this guy tonight. Um, I think there, there are definitely a few options in this lineup tonight to back against Hendricks. 